reaction. Let me look at the chromosomal disorders in the non-numerical, that is the structural disorders. There can be chromosomal deletion, chromosomal inversion, chromosomal translocation. If we look at here, the single chromosome disorders can be of deletion, so some part of the chromosome can be deleted, so it becomes shorter. Sometimes the part will be duplicated, that means a single part will be duplicated and they are added with the previous one. So the chromosome length is slightly elongated now. Or sometimes what we can see, they are getting inverted. So suppose this is the scenario and this part is getting cleaved out and 180 degree rotation and it is attached to the same chromosome. So this is not two different chromosomes. All over we have seen of a same single chromosome. And this thing is called inversion. This is simply the gene flip. So gene is getting flipped there. So due to these three different problems can be seen along with a single chromosome. Now however, if we involve another chromosome with it, there will be two more varieties. One is insertion, one is translocation. In the insertion what happens, one segment of a gene uh, from a chromosome can be inserted to another chromosome which is nearby and we get different length of the chromosome now. On the other hand, the translocation can be uh, so simple segment of the chromosome can be swapped between the different chromosomes. So the six segment of this blue chromosome is swapped with the green one and the green one is swapped with the blue one. So this can also change the, the structure and the gene alignment of the chromosomes that are present. So that's how we get different varieties of uh, chromosomal defects like that. Now if we look at here, the translocation can be of two different types, actually balanced and imbalanced. Now, if you look at the balanced translocation, the balanced translocation is the translocation where after the translocation, the length of both the chromosomes becomes kind of same. So you can see here this chromosome, this green one is pretty long, this chromosome 20 which is uh, very short. So if there is a translocation of a, a longer portion with the shorter portion of the chromosome 20 and the longer portion of chromosome 4, after the translocation what we can see that chromosome 4 receives very small part from 20, but 20 receives a longer part from chromosome 4. Ultimately, it is converting both the chromosomes of a similar length, right? So we call it the balanced translocation condition. On the other hand, there are certain scenarios where there is unbalanced translocation, where we can see that the segments are transferred and not maintaining any length similarity between them. One chromosome is still la longer than other chromosome. So that is called the unbalanced translocation. So ultimately, these things are uh, are the different chromosomal abnormalities of uh, the structural abnormalities. And I hope that's helpful, guys. Thank